everyone, it's Rochelle here with another mental health moment. And I'm on my living room floor amongst my son's Legos and I am feeling a bit of angst today. Um, I think I feel impatient and a little bit frazzled in this um, season. I want to have um, a bit more consistency and I'm aware of yeah, myself feeling bothered by those things. And I can imagine there's um, others among us who may be feeling similar things today. And so I wanna invite you to visualize a peaceful place with me. This seems to help me a lot to just bring some rest to my soul. Uh, I think it also helps to slow the emotional energy that um, anxiety or worry or fear or frazzled, <laughs> impatient feelings can, can bring. And it just brings a little lowering or a lessening to that. And so this peaceful place could be anywhere um, that you've been before. For some, it may be your grandmother's kitchen table and the smell of um, her delicious cooking. Or for others, it may be the woods and a hike through them. And someone else may consider a peaceful place to be you know, a far off spot across the world that um, they may never return to again, but it was so uh, peaceful while they were there. Others may consider their bed and just feeling, feeling that warmth of, of warm, thick blankets over them. But wherever your piece of place is, I want you to join me in creating a movie of that place in our minds using all of our senses. And so I'm gonna walk you through that today so for me, I love the beach and man, I miss that I'm not there, that it's been, um, yeah, well over 365 days since I've been at, since I've been to a beach, but I'm going to, um, think through first my, the site and what I see when I'm at the beach. Oh, I see the golden yellow sun. I see the blues and greens and blacks and grays of the ocean water just as far as I can see um, that it it like meets the sky and the horizon I see the beautiful light blue sky and those white soft billowing clouds um, that sometimes um, seem to pass through I see seagulls I see people um, lying down sleeping possibly listening to music reading books children playing with frisbees into the water and splashing as they fall to try to catch a football. Man, I see um, people eating snacks. I see la children um, laughing as their parents are chasing them. I see people walking or running along the water's edge. There is a feast for my eyes, really. Um, as I look, as I turn back and I can see the, like, the entrance to the beach, I see restrooms and restaurants. I see a, a large parking lot filled with people coming and going. Um, I see lifeguards aware and ready to respond if needed. And then if I consider what I hear, oh, I hear laughter of people having fun as they play catch in the water. I hear music as people relax to some of their favorite tunes. I hear the water, that gentle, rhythmic lapping, um, just so, so consistent, um, so, so rhythmic um, as, as the water meets the sand. I hear the seagulls as they squawk and, and swoop down and seek to find someone's lunch, uh, who's, you know, that, that um, unaware person with their sandwich in their hand that the seagull's ready to grab their lunch. Um, I hear my family talking um, as they build sandcastles and play. Wow, um, again, so much for my ears to hear. And then I, I smell, I smell that salty breeze that flows every once in a while when the wind passes and it just brings that salty smell to us on the beach. I smell sunscreen, I smell fruit as people um, open up coolers to have a little snack in the afternoon. Um, smell may be a little less of, of what I can partake from than my sight and hearing, but, but still present nonetheless. And then um, 
what do I taste? Well, I taste my snacks that I've brought, typically cheese sticks and apple slices. Um, I taste sometimes the salt uh, when I lick my lips and after being in the water with my kiddos. I taste um, even a hint of sunscreen as I kiss the top of their heads as they're playing. And then um, what do I touch? Oh, the sand in my hands and my toes as it just softly um, blankets those hands and toes. I touch the water right as it meets that sand and then like it leaves that sweet imprint of, of feet footprints as your feet meet the water fully. Um, man, I can feel, I can feel the warm rays of, that, of the sun on me. And I can, it's as if I can touch that blanket of sunshine. Um, such, such warmth. Um, even the trail of sweat that beads down my face um, after being at the beach all day long, that I feel as, a, as the beads of sweat, gross as it is, but also oh, I'm aware that it's there um, as, it, as that goes down my cheek. So many parts to this peaceful place to me. And when I give myself that movie in my mind, going through all my senses, um, it brings a bit of, of stillness, of rest. It brings some slowing down of what it is that I have been feeling, and it gives me a bit more of a centering. So nothing has changed. My living room is taken over by Legos and this imposing bomb that will go off as soon as rest time is over um, in regards to the Legos. But I now have had a little space for myself um, where I've experienced God's peace in, in real time at the beach. And now I've had this experience of this replication of that peace. And I hold on to, as I've made that visualization, that Jesus has said, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. It's not as the world gives. It's peace of mind and heart. And I hold on to that and I say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Because though I'm not at the beach, I was able to visualize a place of peace that you've given me in the past. And I replicate that today. And I say, thank you that you have given me peace. And I'll hold on to that today. Now, as I go into the remainder of today, and I invite you to do that same. Take care, my friends.